Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. I'd like to say a big welcome to all my new subscribers. Thank you for subscribing, it's lovely to have you along. Um, today I've come on to show you a loaded envelope that I've made. I'll show you as, as best I can, so I can't get it all in shot. Uh, but turn it that way, <laughs> you can see more of it. But I used a bought C5 envelope and I covered it completely with papers and I made some little accordion gussets there to put in a pocket at the back, which is this one. Here, there's some things in there, and a pocket at the front as well. So that gives more room to put things in. Um, it's all using the same paper line. In fact, I'll show you the paper line that I used. Just pop this down for a minute. It was this one that I got from the works and it's the fabulous roses paper stack and I've had it a um, few months but it's so gorgeous that um, I didn't really use it but I did for this <laughs> I thought well, it's got to be used I can't just keep it and look at it all the time. <laughs> so I used it. So all the papers, all the embellishments are made from that uh, paper pack. And then I've got put some lace here along this front pocket. And there's some uh, trim. In fact, there's this long, a long piece of lace there. And then another piece of lace here, and then some trim there. And I put some beaded trim down all the way around the edge, and some heart trim there. In fact, I can show you the top of that when, uh, when I've emptied it out. And then on the back, lace all the way around that pocket, a die cut border, a flower and a gem. So in the back pocket, and there's the paper, and that's, that's the actual back of, of the envelope. There again with lace, lace and trim. And in that back pocket, I've made some, well they could be photo mats, there's three of them, or uh, they could be put on, uh, used as card mats, mat and layers. Um, these here, I think you can just about see, I've embossed those with an embossing folder, and they're all, all three are the same embossing folder and mat and layered onto uh, pieces of the paper stack. So that was in the back pocket. Uh, on the side I've punched a hole and I've got three little bobbins, spools, and I've wrapped some uh, baker's twine purple and the pink baker's twine and this is some very thin ra uh, ribbon that you can buy in, in the gift wrap packs with different coloured narrow ribbons. Uh, the, the spools I bought a bag full from the works some time ago and this is some fibre ball of yarn that I got from the charity shop which we've used in a few videos you probably uh, 
few projects so you've probably seen it before but anyway that's that's hanging there so the front pocket I've put on oops, some paper clips these are the two inch paper clips so they're larger than the standard paper clip but not as large as the huge ones you can buy so there's that one with a little butterfly sticker on and this one with another 3D butterfly sticker on and this one is one of the huge ones this is one of the uh, pulled a gem off there it stuck to my finger I'll have to stick it back on after so this is one of the large paper clips I'll just put this down I've got a, a gem stuck on my finger now it's come from there I'll, I'll sort that out after so just imagine that the, well, there's two actually that have come off and anyway, I'll sort that out after so that's from the large paper clips with um, die cuts, a few die cuts, and then a bow and a flower with a flower gem in and another bow there. So that's, I think these are about three inches, so quite big. And then in here, that's all. I've done two of the uh, bobbins or spool. I think they spools actually, aren't they? They're with the spool. I'm not too sure actually, but anyway, I've put some cream lace. That's uh, a cotton crochet lace on there, and that's uh, that's cream lace as well there. So those were in and. It's a lovely postcard stamp which I've stamped onto the back of pieces of uh, the paper pack there again there's a few of those in fact that wasn't part of the paper pack it's a very nice um, paper with some script on but most of what I've used came from the paper pack. But it's a lovely uh, stamp, that is. I use this a lot. I think it's nice. You can write a little message. And whoever gets these can write a message to put in with their swaps and things. And then also in that pocket, I've made three little cards. Just for you. I've made the envelopes as well with my envelope punch board and this one with this matching envelope and oops, this one matching envelope. Uh, I think that was, I've got quite a bit of stuff here now. I'll put it all back in a minute. That was all that was in that pocket. Then in the uh, main pocket here, the actual inside of the envelope, I've made a wand with papers. I've put a piece on the back to keep it nice and tidy so it looks nice in the back as well. And I've done a, a rosette there, so it's die cuts, a rosette, more die cuts, a bow, a flower, similar to the, uh, the large paper clip that I made with the bow and the rabbit. And a spotty bow there and some eyelash trim going down there. And... I've made three of these which uh, 
can be used uh, to put on cards. They're uh, mat, mat and layered. And I'll just see if I can show you closely. This is an embossing folder. I hope you can make it out there. The embossing folder, and which I embossed onto a piece of white card there. Then I inked over the embossing folder, this one in pink, and I cut out the flowers. These are the flowers that are embossed under here, all of them. So I just inked over it and cut out the flowers and then put some gems uh, in the centre there and in the centre of these little flowers here. You see the, um, the embossing? So there was that one in the pink. This one, uh, I embossed the same panel and then I covered it in some pink, uh, sorry, purple ink. I used, um, not that colour, the uh, archival ink. That's what I've used. I've had these for years and I have used them, I've only got six, but I have used them so much and they just keep going and going. Um, so they're very good, they they're, can be a bit more expensive than some of the other ink pads but for the use you get out of them I think they're well worth paying the extra. Anyway that's beside the point, that was uh, that's only purple with purple gems. And then I did one, a yellow. Some yellow flowers. That is actually uh, the deboss. The emboss, when you ink over the embossing side of the folder, you get the outline. But the deboss, you get the whole flower inked. So uh, I thought they were quite pretty. Um, and I think that's about all to show you. Um, so that was the actual basic envelope all covered in beautiful papers. The same with the, uh, the sides and the... but made so that you can put things in there. They open out quite a bit. So that's it then. I think I've shown you everything that's in it. Yes, let's just have a, a last look through. No, you've seen everything. So, uh, I hope you've enjoyed watching the video. If you have, it'd be nice if you could give me a thumbs up and subscribe. If you're not already a subscriber, that would be very nice. Um, and I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.